What's up guys, welcome to another video. This video, we're gonna be taking a look at probably one of the better travel bags that I have uh, reviewed on the channel actually. Um, and this is going to be the Quiver X, and this is by Bo. And uh, there's a little hashtag for you, Be Bo. There you go, there's their logo, Bo. All right, again, this is the Quiver X. Let's look at some of its features before we dive in. Quiver X. We can focus, we can focus. The ultimate three-in-one backpack designed for traveling smart. Now, it's got a lot of cool features. We'll go over these. The auto lock zip, pretty cool. Luggage pass-through, eh, pretty standard these days. Four times multiple carry styles, pretty cool. Everything's resistance, definitely like that. Touch sensitive pockets. RFID protected card slots, laptop, and anti-odor technologies because you can put your dirties in here you don't want to be smelling especially if you're like getting this down off of like a, a carry-on luggage rack and you bring it down by your passengers that are right there and they're like oh my god what the hell you got in that bag right so it's got anti-odor technologies as well so let's go ahead and dive right into the quiver x and as you can see here i've got it to where uh the straps shoulder straps are laid out um, so you can definitely adjust these pretty well any way you want, uh, highly adjustable I'm going to say, and they also have a little uh, middle, like kind of like a sternum strap um, to kind of offset the weight and stuff, and uh, let's see if I can, there's the part of the sternum strap right here, so uh, you can definitely uh, adjust this how you want and get it comfortable, and this thing does actually offset quite a bit of the weight, but for, for the most part this balances the weight actually pretty darn good. Now, uh, the first thing I want to touch on is the RFID card slots. They're right here. If you didn't notice, right in the straps. So you can just reach over your shoulder, up on your shoulder, and pull out your card. I got my stash card in this one. Now, again, these are RFID, so no one's going to like walk up behind you and scan you or anything like that. Which, this is, this one actually I have to push the button on it to activate the scanner. This is where I store a lot of passwords and stuff. More, more to come on that in a video here soon, the stash card. Uh, and then over here, don't need it, but I do have a signal vault just for demonstration purposes. And this actually is an RFID blocker in its own right, because uh, it blocks uh, scanners. You don't even have to have a protective card slot. That baby just blocks scanners. It's always good to travel with it. If you don't have an RFID protected wallet, throw that in there in between your cards, good enough. You're blocking the scan. So there's our two card pockets in each shoulder sleeve. So quick access to identification, travel cards. Like I said, I've got passwords. I also have a blue card which stores all my contacts. It's like a business, electronic business card. Uh, so I can just transfer my, my business card information uh, through uh, um, NFC. So pretty cool stuff. So a lot of ideas if you want to throw in there. The pass-through right here. Again, you can throw it on one of your wheeled uh, rolling carts. It'll pass through. Put, the, put this through the handles and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and dive into the actual bag itself. Now you can see you got a lot of different zippers here. And pockets and combinations. Now, first thing I want to point out here is we do have um, cup holders on both sides, which I'm a big fan of. I love the cup holders. And why do I love the cup holders? Because I like to take, let's adjust the camera here a little bit so we can get a better picture of this. Let's go up. There we go. And let's zoom out a little bit so you guys can get the full detail. So I don't have this cup holder, obviously on this side, it zips up, so it's uh, very much out of the way. Uh, I do have, you know, a cup holder over here, this is a Camelback, fits a pretty wide cup, I can see here, that's pretty wide, this is, uh, I don't know how many ounces, 600 milliliters, uh, yeah, I can't read it, but uh, you can definitely shove a pretty big cup into each cup holder, and again, this will uh, tighten up and zip up. So when you want it out of the out of the equation, you can pretty much get it tucked in pretty darn good. So that's a nice feature. Now, you can really stuff this thing. As you can see here, it doesn't look like it's all that wide, but it's hiding a lot. It's kind of like one of those houses that you drive by, and in the front, the house doesn't look a whole hell of a lot like much. It's not very big, but once you go in, 
uh, it's like, holy moly, this is a lot bigger house than I thought it was. And until you see it from the back or the inside, then you really can't judge, you know, how big the house is and how many bedrooms and all that kind of stuff. This is kind of like that when it comes to backpacks. Because this thing's got a lot of compartments, a lot of width. You know, if you see it from the back and the front, you're like, eh, yeah, not a whole lot. But you see it from the side, baby's packing. You can get a lot of stuff in here. Uh, I don't know how many liters it is. Um, I might try to put that in the show notes if I figure that out. Um, and I'll look that up um, and see. Now, it talks about many different ways to carry. Well, you got a handle on top. Again, you can do the backpack style. Uh, you've got all sorts of methods to carry this bad boy. I think it had, how many did it say? Like multiple carry styles? Four times multiple carry styles. You can try to uh, carry it like a briefcase. Um, like I said, there's just four different ways you can try to carry this. So that's kind of nice. You've got some options. I don't know if you could do duffel bag style. That's the only only way I don't know if you can do it. But it's kind of briefcase, I don't know, maybe messenger bag style, that kind of stuff. Um, so that's kind of neat. Again, this is water protective. Um, so you, know, you can have it out in the rain and it's very, very good. Now I wanted to demonstrate one more thing on the exterior. Um, and that is the uh, auto lock zipper. So what is an auto lock zipper you say? Well, let's take a look. This is the auto lock zipper. So this is where you have like your valuables, right? So let's get these zippers out. Now, if you can see here, any way I go with this, it doesn't open. It's kind of maddening actually. Look, the zippers are following one another from the underneath side. So no one can just walk up and unzip this without you knowing and steal your goods. Especially in this compartment because this is where your goods are at, like your laptops and your tablets and stuff like that. This compartment is very secure. You have to take this zipper all the way down, lock it in, and then unzip. Okay? So start this on the other side. Somebody have to go all the way down here, pull pretty darn hard to get that baby in there locked to where you can unzip this. So that's another nice protective measure. So do we just start in the middle? What do you say guys, you wanna start in the middle? Let's start in the tech side, okay? And again, this is a travel bag, so you're not gonna have just tech. You're gonna have clothes, you're gonna have all sorts of stuff in it. Now you can see the interior, yeah, it's red. But if you like red interiors, there's a reason for it. It makes it so you can see your stuff. If this was like a black interior or a gray interior, uh, it might be harder to see my, my things in here. But with the red interior, uh, I can definitely pinpoint where all my gear is at and get to it very easily. And there are a lot of pockets in here. Um, so let's just go ahead and slide some of the stuff out. Now you can see the laptop sleeve, very protective. It's like a microfiber interior. So I have a Spectre HP Hewlett Packard Spectre bin here. So let's just take that out. And then I have an iPad. This is the 10.5 uh, edition Pro. So that, that's my techie area right there. Laptop, tablet. Over here I've got a RAV Power Travel. Uh, this is like a huge multifunctional thing. It's a, a built-in router, battery bank, uh, acts as a hotspot, SD card, you name it. This thing does it. It's the best thing for travel ever. I highly recommend it. I've got my Pelican where my SD cards are stored so I can do footage. And then down here, let me unzip this other little pocket here, and I have the MX Master Mouse, which I use with my Spectre. So that's really all I've got on the interior for tech. So let's go ahead and then go one more layer back and see if I can get to the zippa. Here we go. And in this side, this is more of my... Um, you know, kind of personal hygiene stuff. Now, I've got it watered down for this because obviously, uh, you know, I don't need to pack it up. I'm not traveling. This is just for uh, demo purposes. If I was traveling, I'd have a lot more in here for personal hygiene, but let's go ahead. Now you can see this, this is definitely anti-odor. So I actually have like a, a comb 
from Chicago Comb Company in a nice little leather sl sleeve. Can't get it open with this. There we go. This is a carbon fiber comb. Super, super nice. Highly recommend uh, these guys here. So, got my comb in there. I've got some cologne. Yes, this is wax cologne. This is in a nice aluminum case. This is from Solid State. Hopefully it'll focus. So this stuff smells amazing. And then this can be for clothes, it can be dirties, it can be cleans, it's whatever you want. Uh, I happen to have some wet shoes in here. You can wear these in the water at the beach. Get them wet. Throw them back in here. They're gonna stay nice. And that's all I got in here. I got some sand. Obviously I've worn these at the beach, huh? Yeah. So that's kind of the outer pieces. Now let's kind of dive into the other side. You've got a pocket on the back. Now this is kind of another quick access pocket, kind of like the cards. Uh, I have my hotspot, my Verizon hotspot. What else do we got back here? Key fob. And some readers. Got to have some readers, quick access in case I have something small print wise that I've got to read. Yes, I've them that that age where readers are the thing. So from the next layer, you get this. This is like we're tucking a lot of stuff in. More clothes. This is my gym clothes. I keep them in here. This is really deep, so you could really have some several days uh, outfits in here. I've just got a gym shirt and gym shorts. And again, if I wanted to have gym shoes versus these, I could. Uh, and that's it. But again, you can stack. Look at this. Look how wide and deep this is. There you go. You can stack quite a bunch. Socks, underwear, you name it, undergarments, stuff in here. And like I said, this bag really holds a lot. You can put, and that, that's it. We've gone through all the pockets. So you can really pack a whole lot of day trip into this. Several day trip, actually. And it's really going to work really, really well. Uh, it's quick, obviously, to get through TSA, because look at that, you just fan through your pockets. And they, this one folds all the way out. So, that's fairly TSA friendly. Not saying that that's one of the, the features really on it, but it is pretty TSA friendly. And again, you got quick access, you got security, you got a lot of the stuff you can pack into this. Again, the Quiver X from Bo, highly recommend. Check the show notes for a link. Um, I'll try to put some of this other stuff in here, some of this other gear. Um, you know, if you're interested in any of the gear. This is pretty light travel for tech. This isn't like a photography bag, camera bag, whatever. Um, this is just kind of the essentials. If you're going to go on a couple day trip, you don't need to pack the world. Uh, you know, I've got everything I need tech wise. Um, I got my internet, I've got my battery, I've got a laptop, a tablet, a mouse, you know, and I've got storage. So, you know, I've got pretty much everything I need. And then, like I said, I can hit the beach. Uh, these are great for beach walks and stuff like that. And let the water come up over you as if there's tides and stuff. So, uh, I've got my smell goods. So you got your personal hygiene and it's very low footprint and the airlines do not care about this stuff really. This isn't a liquid, it's a wax. So that stuff works really, really well for traveling. So anyway, guys, check out the show notes for uh, links for this stuff, especially the bag by Bo, because this is one of those, uh, if you're going to travel, this is a great travel bag. You can carry it on, have everything there, and you're good to go. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the show, and as always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.